We have here uh, an orchid plant. And this is our subject in this uh, tutorial. And uh, what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to create a good contrast and background appropriate for your subject to appear protruding, to appear three-dimensional in such a way that your drawing or your painting will look uh, alive. And as I've said, uh, your ability to create good contrast and, and uh, appropriate background for your subject, for your center of interest, will determine the quality of your artwork. Uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, making light background for the roots. You know, this is an orchid plant, but uh, the title of this is Roots because it is the roots that I love to look at. I am not an orchid lover, but I love, I love to look at the roots of the orchid. Very complicated and, you know, it's challenging. And here, uh, I don't usually do a smudge stroke on the paper and my drawings, especially when it becomes, when it comes to landscape drawings and still life drawings. I like to see the play of lines, the play of pencil strokes on the paper. Uh, so I just leave it. I don't do a smudge. And there's great fun. There's fun in making different strokes on the paper. So here it is. I am using a two-edge pencil here to create a light tone for this uh, wooden, for this rotten wood where the roots of the plant, roots of the orchid plant tangles. And it's challenging, it's a challenging job. I have not yet applied the uh, shaded, uh, the shades of the roots. Okay. It's here. Now. Now I'm going to use a dark pencil which is a 6B. This is 6B pencil. And we are going to apply the dark shades. Now as I've said, you are not, you don't need to copy everything that is in the, in the picture or in the plant. You can improvise. These roots here are not exactly what it looks like and what it looks like in the original picture or, or in the orchid plant. But I just improvise it. But before I can do that, I have to be very careful to first uh, analyze or study the. The formation of the roots itself in such a way that if I'm going to add something, I'm, I'm going to add, it will fit. No, it will not uh, be awkward to look at. Now, this is it. These roots here, this portion are just, uh, I just added it. It is not in the, it is not exactly the original uh, position of it, but it looks the same. I am adding portions of it without changing the whole picture. It is still the orchid plant of my, actually this is an orchid plant of my uh, mother-in-law. So I didn't change the whole, uh, the whole picture. I just enhanced it. Oh. 
Now you can see the transformation of the drawing if you are going to, after you are able to add the darkest portion, the dark portion of it, the shades and the sh this uh, dark portion of the background, the, the wooden, the rotten wood here with where the roots uh, entangles serves to its background. So therefore I'm going to darken it, uh, I'm, I am careful not to darken every, uh, everything in the background. And you know there are dark portion, there are darker and lighter portion of the background. I am making sure that there is a variation of darkness in the background that I am making to create a just to create a you know create a depth of feel in the background and the roots beneath are a little bit darker than the roots that are at the surface so I, uh, I am trying to shade it with a uh, hard pencil. This is six B pencil and darken. And take a look. Now this portion here is very dark, but as you go down to this portion it becomes lighter. That is what I'm trying to say. There has to be variations in the background that you're making. It becomes lighter. And you know, uh, you can add uh, the orchid leaves here, another uh, leaves in this side. The side because I have still much space, a vacant space at the right side of the paper. The right side of the paper, there's still a vacant space. Then to create a vala, to create a balance in your composition, the picture, in your drawing, you have to add something at the right side. So I can add some leaves here, but I have already uh, studied the formation of the orchid leaf. So I can add without uh, without changing the whole picture. It still is the orchid plant of my mother-in-law, but I just enhance it. But the main shapes, the main forms in this picture is still intact. This one, this this rotten wood here, it's the actual for a position of the wood. I copied it. This one, this one, and the leaves here. But at this portion, these leaves here are just added. This one. As I have said, that is to enhance the picture. Because as you can see in the original plant in the garden, this orchid plant is is not taken care of well. Uh, is it, is it, it is not growing very healthy. It was being left out. You know, the, therefore I have to enhance it, adding something, adding the roots and the leaves to make it look like uh, blooming a little bit. So as you can see, I didn't copy the flower orchid flower here is because I have said I only love the roots because doing the roots is very challenging this roots in this side are not in the picture and not in the original uh, plant that I am copying I only added it as I have said we I have a still a large vacant space on the right side of this paper I have to add something to create a balance, to create a good composition. And here it is. You can see the the play of lines at the side. 
side of the drawing. You can see the play of the strokes here, and I love it. It's very rough. I don't do as much because, you know, smudge application, uh, smudge strokes, meaning rubbing the the graphite on the paper, it will create a smooth effect on the drawing, and I don't like it when it comes to still life drawing and landscape. I don't like smooth. Uh, uh, effect on my artwork I love the roughness of it I love the play of pencil strokes on my paper it's here now take note I'm now going to do the shades the roots to make it appear protruding to make it appear three-dimensional here uh, as you can see, I am applying a, a dark stroke underneath the, the root. It's because, as I have said, the sunlight strikes an object from top to bottom. Therefore, uh, the upper part of the root or the leaf is lighter than the lower part of it because the lower part is called the shade portion. The upper part, it, here, this is the upper part, this light. And this is the lower part, this uh, darker because it is a shade, shade portion. Uh, as you can see, it, it now appears as a, like a three dimensional object. It's because of the shadow, because of the shade, because of the appropriate contrast that I am making. Oh. Uh, this time you use I'm using HB pencil which is uh, quite a little bit darker than the 2H pencil I don't use the 6B which is very dark I only use it at this portion I only use it when I'm doing my final touches in this portion this portion is very dark that is why I need the dark a very dark pencil which is 6B here it is here it is. Okay. It's a portion. Now, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Uh, this portion here serves as the background of this part of the wood. This part of the wood is very. Uh, it's a rotten wood. You can see the the cracks of it, and this serves as a background. So therefore, I am going to darken it. But I need not to darken it to do it very dark. It's just a uh, a little bit dark, not so light, not so dark. And this is uh, this one also. It's part of the background of this wood and this roots here. I'm going to darken it, but I am careful not to darken everything that is in the background. There are a uh, dark portion here. We have also the lighter portion, and and you can even create some uh, cracks or holes in the in the wood it's because this wood is already rotten rotten wood and I, I I love to see the the rot I mean the cracks and the rottenness of of wood of the wood see I, I as you can see I'm not dark darkening everything in the background of this portion I am only making a uh, varied darkness, a variation of darkness to make it appear something like a, you know, a, it's more artistic 
if it has a, a variation of darkness this portion here we need to darken this in order to emphasize the, the shape of the lip here so this part here needs to be very dark because this is underneath the lip here this one uh, again we are trying to emphasize the the shape of the lip this portion so I, I darken this portion that I, I darken this part but take note this part here is just a leaf and it's this part here serves as the background of this leaf this is a very light because it is protruding it is the, uh, protruding the forefront of the uh, of the plant and this is the I think the rear side of the plant this serves as the background of these two leaves here but I don't need to darken this with the same darkness that I made this portion here I just need to make a little dar uh, darkness in this background to emphasize the shape of these two leaves just to emphasize and then just a little little darkness not so dark not so light serves as the background of these two leaves here and that's what I'm trying to, to point out that there has to be variations of darkness in the background to make it uh, look realistic this one Now, this roots here, excuse me, this roots here are all improvised roots. As you can see in the original picture or in the original plant that I'm copying, there are roots here, many roots that are overlapping and and I just made an improvisation. I made some roots here didn't copy the original uh, object in my the plant in the garden I just made created myself I created it I just created it out of out of my imagination and but if you are going to do that be sure that you have already studied the formation of the roots in such a way that you are not adding an awkward formation of, of the roots it will appear awkward it doesn't if it if the if it does not fit with the original uh, picture here it is here it is this part here is very dark but as we go to the right and move to the right side, it becomes lighter. These are small details, small things that need to be uh, observed by the artist himself if, if he is to become a realist artist. If you're aspiring to become a realist artist, you need to be meticulous in every small details of the drawing. Uh, it may not look important. But it, it will add, it, it has an impact on the drawing itself, on the artwork itself. It's like this. Okay. This is dark. This ought to be very dark. Okay. Hmm. 
these leaves here are not in the original uh, picture or uh, the original plant that I'm copying in the garden. There are only at least uh, three leaves here in this side. One, two, three, and plus the small ones here. But these leaves are just added. But I am careful to add to make a leaf that is similar to the original leaves and of their formation. It's here. Okay.